Okay, it's the concept of blood grouping. So blood groupings is, of course, for us, we do genetics. And one of the questions that caught um, learners last year in paper two uh, was the essay question. And it contained a question about blood groupings. Um, but it was more in the way that the question was asked and the way that it should have been answered that was a problem. It wasn't... Um, blood grouping that was not understood. It was the fact uh, that the question uh, was not interpreted properly. Um, but anyway, let's go through what, what blood grouping is all about. So we can, we can have phenotypically, remember phenotypically? Phenotypically, we can have three blood groups. In the three blood groups, we can have A, blood group A, blood group B, or blood group O. Now, of these blood groups, uh, we have to understand that there's some factors that are in blood groupings that are complete dominance, and there's some factors that are showing co-dominance. And this is important with blood grouping within terms of genetics. There's complete dominance and there's co-dominance, and that's what can make it a bit confusing. So we have basically three different um, three different alleles with regards to blood groups. We basically have the allele, and I'm going to show you over here. We have the I allele, the small letter I. So small letter I says to me, this is recessive. So blood group O is small letter I. That's how we write it. That's always how we write it. We never write it O. Please don't write the O. Small letter I, that's an O blood group, but it's a recessive gene. So, and the other two are dominant. Blood group A is dominant and blood group B is dominant. So A and B, those two are dominant over blood group O. But, but, they are co-dominant with regards to one another. And we have to notice how we are going to write them as well. It's important to write them in the correct way. Otherwise, you don't get them off. So, phenotypically, we can have blood group A. Genotypically, the person whose blood group A is e either going to be IAIA. That's homozygous, blood group A. Or I A small letter I, that's heterozygous blood group A. So they have they have blood group A genotypically, but genotypically they also have blood group um, O. So they they can pass that on to their children, uh, the recessive I to make their children blood group O. So you can have a child that's, that's a, a blood of blood group. You can have a child that's blood group O, but you're not blood group O yourself because it's a recessive gene. Then for B, blood group B, you can either be dominant, homozygous, um, IB, IB, like there. So, or you can be, Dominant IB, small letter I, so you can have the genotype for blood group O, but you're not blood group O, you're blood group B. So that's if it's heterozygous. So it's important to know the terms of dominant, of recessive, heterozygous, homozygous, complete dominance, incomplete dominance. Co-dominance. So you need to know these terms very well. You, your terminology in genetics is extremely important. For the simple reason is that they're going to catch you in the questions on whether you know these terms or not. Because the, the key to answering the question correctly is in knowing the terminology. So let's take a look at blood group AB. So blood group AB, which is a, a quite a um, not as common blood group, like blood group O is also not a common blood group. So AB, 
that is a co-dominant blood grouping, co-dominant genotype, IA, IB. And then for blood group O, you need to be recessive, recessive. So small letter I, small letter I. Okay. So let's now take a look at the question or at an example and then a question. Okay, so over here, we've got a, a woman that's married to a man and they have kids. She's blood group AB and he's blood group AB. Genotypically and phenotypically, they're AB. So IA and IB for both of them. Then, when we cross it, and that, you can now see why I'm asking you guys, don't do a cross like this. Don't, don't have these lines that are across from one another. It, 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 it doesn't look neat. It looks like a spider's web. And um, so please don't do it. So if we take a look at it, then if we cross them and we, we go through meiosis and fertilization, they can have one kid that's blood group A, which is IAIA. They have two kids, which is blood group AB, IAIB. And they have the chances of having one kid that has a blood group of IB. So they can actually have between them four blood groups in their children. They can. Not they have. They can. And uh, all three of their kids could have different blood groups. Let's take a look at the question. 1.4. We only have about eight minutes left on our Zoom lesson before the, they, uh, it kicks us out. So let's try and finish this question. In the maternity ward of a hospital, two newborn baby girls were mi uh, mixed up. Um, just give me a moment. Jelle, my class can nie hoor nie, as jylle so raas nie. Okay. Okay, so. In the maternity ward of a hospital, two newborn baby girls were mixed up. Baby X had a blood group of O, so she had to be as I indicated on here, small letter I, small letter I. And baby Y had a blood group of A. So she either was IA, IA, or she was IA, small letter I. Both mothers thought that the baby with the blood group O belonged to them. So baby X. And Mrs. Scale had a blood group of AB and her husband, Mr. Kale, had a blood group of O. So then this is Mrs. Moore had a blood group of A and her husband had a blood group of B. Okay, so let's take a look then at the questions. Give the number of alleles controlling blood groups. There's three alleles. There's small letter I, I, A, and I, B, that's three alleles, three alleles of this, of one gene. So, genes controlling the blood groups, one gene. It's one gene with three alleles. Identify the type of uh, dominance shown in the inherit inheritance of blood groups. Okay, so in the memo, it only says co-dominance, but it's not just co-dominance. It's co-dominance between A and B. But it's in uh, it's complete dominance between A I A B and small letter I. Identify the recessive allele. That is small letter I. The two dominant alleles, that's I A and I B. Write down the genotype of baby X. So there's the genotype of baby X. He is O. So he's recessive, recessive. He's homozygous recessive. So small letter I, small letter I. Baby Y, okay, so there's two possibilities over here. IA and IA or IA and I. If we take a look at it, what it really is, and we cross the pair, possible parents, it has to be I a small letter I, but you have to go into more detail than that. And they, it's only worth one max. So they're not going to ask that detail. Mr. Moore, let's take a look at Mr. Moore. Mr. Moore has a blood group of A. Uh, sorry, Mrs. Moore. 
Uh, let me just see. Oh, Mestimol. And her, her husband, Mestimol, has a blood group of B. Okay. So he's got a blood group of B. So he's either, he's either going to be, um, they want to know the genotype. Okay. So he's either got to be I, B, and small letter I. Get the small letter I there. There we go. Okay. So, or he can be IB and uh, another IB. But in this case, he is definitely IB, small letter I, because he had a son with a blood group of O. So, he had to contribute a small letter I to the child. So, he can only be the genotype of I capital B, small letter I. If we take a look at the total question and we work it out beforehand. It is possible for, is it possible for Mrs. Kale to be the mother of baby X? Okay, it is not possible. Why is it not possible? Because she's an AB blood group. She could have never contributed a small letter I to the child. So that can't be a child because she's blood group. She is blood group AB and she cannot contribute a small letter I to a child which is going to be blood group O. She can only contribute an IA and an IB. So it was never possible for her to actually have a child with the blood group O. And so I didn't have to work out the Punnett square, but if I wanted to make it easy on myself to interpret the question, I probably would have done that before the time. Um, we're just running out of time here. That's why I didn't um, work, work it out. But because I know that Mrs. L had a blood group of AB, I know she's IA, IB. She has no small letter I, so she cannot contribute to small letter I to her child. So the, the child, baby X, with a blood group O, was not her child. 